Russell, when you're looking for precision, Heimbuch are, are often at the top of the list. You've got their equipment here. Why do you use it? Um, it? We found it was the best solution to actually clamp our parts, the variation of the parts, the interchangeability between the collet chucks and the expanded mandrels was uh, very good. So when you say in interchangeability, does that mean, I know you've got a sub-spindle lathe here behind us or a turning centre, does that mean that you can have a, a collet chuck on the front and a mandrel on the back and then swap them over? Yes, that's correct, yeah. And what, how long would it take to do that? Under a minute. Really? Okay, that quick. So what we do have here is obviously internal clamping. What are you doing, or what are you actually clamping on these uh, devices? So these are machine bores. Um, so we're picking up off the machine bore and then turning the part in situ so we always know it's running uh, true. And when you talk about true, what, what line of tolerance are we actually chasing? Uh, these, these gear blanks are within about 20 microns um, um, on the diameter, run out about 10 microns. Okay, so even with a quick changeover, you can still achieve that? Yes, yeah. And your relationship with Heimbuch obviously started in the earlier days because you've got standard collets and collet chucks as well? Yes, that's correct, yeah. How did that all come about? Uh, it came about to, uh, we did some uh, trials, some machining trials, and we found that the Heimbuck system was uh, very good for the small spindles when we were manufacturing low volume shafts. The repeatability was, uh, was very good. And your level of investment with them, I mean, it's pretty significant with this turning centre, but it's obviously paid back. Yes, it has, and uh, every project we, um, we invest in, uh, we, we put the Heimbuck tooling in um, as part of the justification. Brilliant, thanks Russell. Okay, thank you.